Hello, everyone. Welcome back. This is Zen. Uh, really excited to have this episode with you all today. So we're going to talk about R3. We're going to talk about some major, major banks and, uh, of course, XRP, XDC, and how all of us are going to be extremely freaking wealthy in the next six months. In the next six months, we're going to be lounging for real. So Let's get into it. We don't got much time. It's late. It's actually, I'm filming this. My phone's dead. Uh, June 24th, I believe. It's around 10 p.m. And I'm, I'm going to release this in the morning. So let's start with R3. What is R3? We've talked about this a few times in the past. Let's actually explore their website a little bit. So R3 Partner Connect. Let's, let's look into their ecosystem. So I'm on R3's website. Click the ecosystem, click partners if you guys want to see what I'm looking at. And you'll see R3 is, well, R3 sits at the center of the world's largest blockchain ecosystem. Wow. Let's uh, keep looking down. So um, basically as a partner of R3, you're able to have all types of to tools and resources to help you build innovative solutions on Corda for your customers. Our partner ecosystem includes the world's leading ISVs, cloud providers, tech firms, system integrators, and more. Explore use cases and solutions built on Corda platform across various industries. We have trade finance. Who does trade finance? Zinfin XDC. Capital markets, this is banks, this is the big central banks. Insurance, uh, that's a pretty big industry as well. And now this is where, this is where you guys are gonna get shocked. I'm not gonna look into all these, but featured partner, AWS. You guys know that's Amazon, you know that, right? So Amazon, one other significant, NASDAQ. That's a huge, huge behemoths we're looking at right now. Accenture, I'll, tell you, I'll show you guys why Accenture is important later. I thought this was interesting. Every Thursday, they're streaming live at 11.30 Eastern, and uh, they're discussing the hot topics in distributed ledger technology. Block your calendars for our weekly R3 DigiTalk sessions to hear at least news and views from experts in the world of blockchain and DLT. So they're talking about the trends and use cases and the crypto landscape. They're just really just educating the people on what this technology is right now. And us nobodies are ahead of the game. We, we knew before all these people because we know how to think for ourselves. We know how to research for ourselves. We don't need someone to educate us. We could, we could educate ourselves. We could do it. So that's the difference. Okay, so the real reason today in the telegram the link will be in the description is free to join i posted the facilitating cross network cbdc interoperability r3 r3 is excited to announce that we have taken an important step forward in enabling interoperability between two sovereign networks what is the interoperability So this is the article posted June 24th, facilitating cross network CBTC interoperability. I'll read a little bit. If you guys want to know more, go ahead and, and dive into it. But basically they're saying central bank digital currency is a unique asset class that is created and controlled by sovereign entities who have sole jurisdiction over the use, control and evolution of the currency. So that's the future of money. XRP is the bridge between the gap between these two different sovereign networks. So that's why I've always said that XRP, I believe, is one of the safest assets to own besides gold or silver because it's the intermediary. It's not controlled by either of those parties. And that's why these banks are comfortable to use it because they know that one person doesn't have the keys to just turn off another person's digital currency or else they wouldn't agree to do it. Basically saying that, uh, yeah, it goes pretty deep. It goes all the way into, let me read you the conclusion. Here's the conclusion of the article. 
We are excited at R3 to continue to work with our ecosystem and with the industry to process CBDC initi uh, initiatives worldwide. The introduction of cross-atomic swaps paved the way for scaling interoperability between multiple networks without the need for establishing one-to-one -one integration or relying on existing financial infrastructure and is another step on the path to making such cross-border settlement a re reality. Please contact to learn more about this work or CBDC research and about many exciting things happening with digital currencies at R3. So they have a whole section about the uh, digital currencies, build frictionless global economy. That's what Brad Garlinghouse uses all the time. They're talking all about, they're all talking all about, and they're like, are you ready to start your digital currency journey? They're pretty much advertising it. Testimonials. This is what's really going to blow you away. You got testimonials for Wells Fargo. You got testimonials from the Bank of Thailand and Hong Kong. Let's read Wells Fargo. That's, mo that's most significant in my opinion because it's here in the United States. R3's quarter was designed by and for financial institutions. It is a distributed ledger solution that allows for appropriate data, confidentiality, controls, scales to bank transactions, volumes, and throughput, and supports an information security design that is compatible with Wells Fargo's industry relay, re regulated standards. I really don't even believe we are even going to comprehend how much wealth is about to come pouring down. It's going to be like an avalanche. We are so early believe in what you guys have been researching in researching it and we have testimonials from wells fargo let's keep going down this art this is the best place to look this isn't no conspiracy this isn't someone saying something this is an official business website that's on the stock exchange Someone at, told me when I was just when I was hyping up QNT today because QNT got listed on Coinbase at Quant, and they were like, "Oh well, I hope you're right." And like, when you do enough of this research and and you're seeing all this stuff on official websites, we want to take the hope out of investing, right? Like that's the point of doing all this research. So the more research we do, we want the use boards like, "I hope I'm right." You're gonna be at that point where you're gonna be zero doubt and you'll even hashtag it on your <laughs> you'll hashtag it on your social media but there, there's another article that came out june 11th 2021 facilitating cross-network cbdc interoperability with bank de, i don't know how to say this bank de france swiss national bank and six well i didn't realize six r3 is excited to be part of project jura a set of experiments that include the bank de france Swiss National Bank and Bank for International Settlement Innovation Hub. Six and other market participants where Euro wholesale CBDC issued by BDF, so Bank de France, can be swapped for a Swiss franc wholesale issued by the SMB. The project attempts a new approach to international payments, allowing an exchange of wholesale CBDC between two parties in France and another in Switzerland. Participating in this will give R3 the opportunity to experiment and test aspects of innovative cross-network interoperability. Let's skip this line. Project Jura is one of the most exciting and progressive wholesale CBDC projects and R3 is proud to join the distinguished members in our group to contribute towards building more competitive, diverse, and secure systems for cross-border payments. Now let's go over here. We're going to the official about the Bank of France. Oops. This is how big it gets, guys. This isn't small. This is a behemoth. The Bank of France is a member of the Euro system, which groups together the European Central Bank and national central banks of all countries that have adopted the euro. The bank is a SUI, whatever, <laughs> public entity governed by the French monetary and financial code, the condition whereby it conducts its missions on national territory 
so this is a uh, French monetary and financial code governs this whole thing. And we could go deeper. This, this is <laughs> as big as it gets central banks, people that the gatekeepers, people that control money. Okay. So that was this, that was this right here. Bank of France on R3's website. They're working with R3. Okay. Let me close this tab. We also have them listing Swiss National Bank. We've all heard of the Swiss banks. What is the Swiss National Bank? The Swiss National Bank is the central bank of Switzerland and is responsible for setting that country's monetary policy and issuing its currency, the Swiss franc. The money, the money keepers are working with R3. This is as big as it gets. We read the Swiss National Bank, the central bank of Switzerland, is responsible for setting the country's monetary policy. This is big. I didn't even get into Amazon and everything. Look at the news right now. June 22nd, 2021, 10.41 p.m. Even the Swiss, even the Swiss are shifting to cashless payments. It's in the news. It's in the news. Bank for International Settlements. The benefits of central bank digital currencies depend on structure of the underlying payment system and data governance. CBDCs promote open platforms fostering a virtuous circle of greater access to lower costs and better services. Bank of Inter International Settlements wants CBDCs. All these people want CBDCs, but these sovereign networks need a bridge. They need, a, they need something for payments and they need something for settlement. Zinfin XCC becomes the leading token of value on the Corda network thanks to the crypto bridge. There's tons of articles. R3 quarter now is a bridge of public blockchain with the rival of XDC. XDC is the official token for R3, which is the bank that we keep talking about. You got, are you guys seeing how big this is? Zinfin announced partnership with Inside R3, Corda, for over 200 plus financial institutions. Zinfin will host a number of standardized decentralized applications on the R3 Corda marketplace. There's a reason why we say the new 1%. There's a reason why we're saying we're on the golden timeline. The people that have been paying attention, we're, we're going to be good. So that's why I tell you to get this information out to as many people as you can because it's really like we're in the times of Noah. It doesn't matter how foolish you look or, or people think you're crazy. That storm's coming and they're all going to look to you when that happens. So be Noah. Be Noah in this situation. Let people know what's coming. Because even the Bank of England... They're all in on it. They're all in a giant conspiracy. Behind. It's not a conspiracy, though, because they have been through this entire, entire germ thing that's happened to the world. They've been having meetings at the World Economic Forum public. They'll go live on YouTube. Their videos only get 200, 300 views. They've been telling the world what's coming. But people are too busy watching other stuff being distracted. So, um, yeah, <laughs> whose fault is it? Is it their fault or is it our fault for not paying attention? Bank of England, September 30th of 2022 will be the last day you could use our paper $20 and $50 notes. After 30 September 2022, these paper notes will, will no longer be legal tender. So we encourage people to spend or deposit them at the bank ahead of the state. Mr. Poole has a post saying, as you watch, cash disappear. Cash is eventually going to disappear. 
And we're going to want to have the most sensor resistant assets in the world in a cashless society, which is gold, silver, XRP, the centralist bridge between all of these CBDCs. Okay, so remember I showed you guys, and this is about, I'm wrapping it up right here. I showed you guys here, uh, Accenture is also partnered with R3. So this is where Ripple comes in with XD, XRP. So it's not just XDC. Accenture, the journey to real-time cross-border. Ripple has chosen to focus on cross-border. Uh, Ripple partners with Accenture and they write uh, papers with Swift. Bank of England picks Ripple partner Accenture to create their CBDCs. So one Google search, you could find it. So it's not really a big conspiracy because it's all right here. Accenture, Ripple, Swift, join international blockchain. It's all public information, guys. Oh. Uh, you click Accenture's website, it's literally Ripple's logo. You literally learn all this just by going to R3's website. So if you want to wake someone up, instead of sending them some per random person on YouTube like me or anything like that, like literally just show them these documents, show them all the proof, show them how many PDFs the World Economic Forum has with XRP in it. This is what you want to show people to help wake them up. You want to go in like you're going to go to a court case and you want to have irrefutable evidence when you're trying to wake somebody up. You clearly bring a whole briefcase, briefcase of these PDFs and documents and just like red pill someone till they drown with documents. <laughs> The Ripple solution for cross-border payments, it's all Ripple. They just come up with these little secret companies to, uh, to uh, disguise themselves. But all right, guys, join the Telegram. Thank you, guys. I'm going to release this in the morning. And uh, everybody have a fantastic day. Let's make this amazing. World peace is coming. Uh, wealth is coming. And the next six months are going to be incredible. Everybody, peace.